Nigeria as a country in recent times have gone through changes both in governance and policy making. All these on the long run has had adverse effects on the populace. Recently, the removal of subsidy in the pump price of petrol brought about agitations from various quarters and groups across the country. It is in lieu of this that the federal government and the National Executive Council put in place palliative measures to cushion the effects of the hardship brought about by the removal of subsidy on petrol prices across the nation. Ogun State is not left out as the governor, Prince Dapo Abiodo, sweetly introduced various palliative measures for different groups of individuals, such as 10,000 Naira transport allowance, peculiar allowance for civil servants, and hazard allowance for health workers in the state. In addition to this, the state government also converted the state-owned buses from petrol to compressed natural gas. On September 4, 2023, the state government flagged off the distribution of 300,000 units of 10 kg bags of rice to residents at the arcade ground of the governor's office in Nokemoson, Abeokuta. Prince Dapo Abiodo confirmed that the palliative measures were provided by the federal government and adopted to meet the unique needs of the state's residents in keeping with his promise to distribute the palliatives promptly. He further stated that his administration has categorized the president's intervention and has been adapted into short term, medium term, and long term. Let me thank our indefatigable president for his proactiveness and genuine concern for the masses by conceptualizing this intervention in Ogun. We have proudly been at the forefront of implementing our own various domesticated interventions. We classify them into immediate term, medium term, and long term. We started, as you recall, by paying 10,000 Naira transportation allowances to all our public servants, including pensioners and teachers across board. We have begun paying different allowances, including hazard allowances. We've begun offsetting backlog of different payments, be it pensions, gratuities, deductions, and all other payments, as we see them as part of the pushing effect of the removal of subsidy. We also decided that not more than 80% of our workforce need come to the office at any point in time. We will also be providing all our pregnant women, our pregnant women across the of the state, with our Ogun State Health Insurance cover called a Bidero. This will cover their prenatal engagements and also postnatal uh, consultations for up to six months. Meaning that you can go to a PHC, go to a secondary healthcare or a tertiary and consult prenatal give back for free because the state government is bearing the cost of all that. We will also be extending the same quality to our students. We will be paying our students, our indigenous students, bursaries across board in our institution. We have begun what we call our energy transition program. And what is this? The energy transition program is a program that we began to work on about six months ago because we knew that a day like this was going to come. We have started converting all our state-owned buses from using diesel to now be powered by compressed natural gas. You see them, they have on their side written, I am powered by CNG. We will also begin, once we finish our stadium buses, we converting all our mini buses, our owner-operated buses, 
in the state, about 2,000 or so of them, at our expense, to come to run on CNG. Abiodro noted that a committee comprising of outstanding individuals has been constituted to supervise the allocation of the relief materials. We are flagging up the distribution of palliatives and the inauguration of the central committee for the distribution of the palliatives. This committee is made up of very eminent dependable and distinguished men and women across the state. The committee will be chaired by my deputy governor and she will be supported by our deputy, former deputy governors that are here present, two members of the National Assembly, one representing the House of Representatives, one representing the Senate, members of the State Assembly, namely the Deputy Speaker and the Minority Leader, our Yalojas, our CDC, CDA, our members of our youth community, our inter-ethnic representatives, our community leaders, and other distinguished and eminent personalities that we believe will ensure that this distribution is effectively, efficiently, and transparently implemented. This Central Working Committee will now be inaugurating committees in each and every local government. The committees in each local government will comprise of the council chairman, our GLO, the member house of assembly or house of assembly is not local government, our religious leaders, our community leaders, CDC, CDA, our youth, students, yellowjas, traditional institution, and others that they decide will be very helpful in ensuring the transparent implementation of distributing these palliatives. The governor expressed gratitude to the citizens for their forbearance with the administration and urged them to continue to exhibit patience as the government remains committed to prioritizing the welfare of the people. Let me thank all of us for being patient with government. We know that it has not been easy. But you know, it is not easy to implement a policy like this. It certainly will come with some pain, but we definitely can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I want to plead with us to continue to be patient with us. Continue to lift all of us up your prayers, both at the state level and at the federal level. Together, we continue to join hands as we build the future of this state and this country together. Various goodwill messages were given by stakeholders during the flag of ceremony. We want to appreciate His Excellency, the President of Nigeria, for putting in place for you this kind of program to assist us in questioning the effect of the subsidy. We just want to appeal to make sure it goes round to the grassroots because we are expecting it at the grassroots. We really appreciate you because you are the one that I mean, informs everybody so they are all inclusive governor. We are so happy. I mean, just under an hour ago, we are called upon that we should come here for the black work. I really appreciate you, sir. I have no doubt in my mind that we have, have, everything here will be distributed according to our expectation. <laughs> Oh, one lucky shame, she 
Once you call the Biba, sit below. Governor, why are you? I will only put you back alone. I don't know what to ask you. You're going to be a little bit of a baller. I'm going to be a little bit of a baller. I'm going to be a little bit of a baller. I'm going to be a little bit of a baller. I'm going to be a little bit of a baller. I want to be a little bit of a baller. I'm going to be a little bit of a baller. I'm going to be a little bit of a baller. I want to buy him to see my life. What do you want to see? You should be perfect. 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 You should be he remembered us and invited us to this wonderful location. We are, I am very happy. This is laudable. This is appreciative. Uh, we express gratitude. On behalf of the entire pensioners in Ogun State, we express our gratitude, our appreciation to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for ruling out this initiative. And by extension to our governor, the governor, who is um, pensioners friendly, Prince Dr. Dakwa Biodun, C.O.N., for advancing this to the pensioners in Ogun State. Um, it will assuage to a great extent the pace of um, the fuel subsidy removal. We show our gratitude. We show our appreciation. We are thankful Thank to him. Much, In the same vein, the Ogun State Government, through the Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the National Agricultural Land Development Authority, NALDA, has granted palliative measures to 150 women farmers in all the 20 local government areas in the state. The entries include 300 cassava stocks, 600 bags of fertilizer, 45 boxes of pesticides and a cash prize of 10,000 naira. The event took place at the Agro Services Corporation Ashiro Abeokuta. Speaking at the symbolic presentation, the governor, Prince Dabo Abiodun, represented by the Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Tokumbo Talabi, said the palliatives were part of the ongoing support provider for farmers since inception of this administration. This is a kickoff of a process that will ensure food sustainability for our state and also for the nation. There is no reason why the state cannot be the food basket of this country. And some of the steps that His Excellency has taken and been supported by various agencies outside is what you are seeing today. First and foremost, it is the traditional small farmers Every economy is developed by the small and medium scale enterprises in the system. These are the real, 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 real uh, uh, grassroots uh, 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 small scale farmers. And this is why we are giving them, part of what they are doing is to also see that they are giving them enhanced STEM system so that when they put in, they get the maximum that the, is, is available. So when they are getting their cassava stem now, they know that they can refer to some places. Some of the ones that they've given them now, when they compare the yield to what they are getting, it will encourage them to say, well, this is a better yielding stem. In his welcome address, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Samuel Adiogun, said the palliatives are targeted at women who are major stakeholders in the agricultural sector. What we are giving out today as palliatives are, is for 150 farmers and it's to support them for an acre which is just 0.4 hectare of the land for them to produce because now that provided us with just 3,000 bundles of cassava cuttings 600 bags of fertilizer and 45 cartons which is about 460 liters of herbicides and insecticide the excellency has also gone a step further. The farmers that are selected are those who are ready to go and plant immediately. And to be able to facilitate that, 
His Excellency has also approved the sum of 10,000 Naira for each farmer benefiting today to assist you in ensuring that you plant your farm. I think you want to clap again for His Excellency. For those our farmers, as you collect this input, the rains are still here. We will go back to our farms to plant so that next year we will gather to also come and explain what has happened to our farms and the yield and the increase in incomes that we have experienced on our farms. Some stakeholders at the event expressed their gratitude to the government for the kind initiatives. The state governor of Ogun State donated 100 hectares of land for now that along um, Shagamu Bini Road. So the place is meant for an integrated farmer. What do we mean by integrated farm? That is a farm that you have all activities. In that farm, you have snailry, poultry, rabbitry, you have fishery, you have fish processing, we have um, school, okay? Then we have hostels that will be of benefit for farmers that want to reside in the farm. The program that we are here is one of the program of the NAODA, which is a um, women's support. We call it a farm input initiatives. We give women, especially the farmer, we give them inputs to cultivate their farming. Like here, we have 20 bundles of cassava stem, we have 600 bags of uh, fertilizers, 45 cartons of uh, agrochemicals, which when you calculate it, each farmer is going to go home with 20 bundles each, then four fertilizer, MPK, which is um, 20, 10, 10, 50 kg. Then they are going to go home with three, three agrochemicals. When I see a government, identify real farmers, not paper farmers, and giving them palettes to help them, I feel so happy. Because I'm a farmer myself, I eat from the farm all my life. So I feel so happy that the governor and Nalda, in partnership, they have done this. It's great to the farmers. 20 bundles of cassava contents for one acre. Fertilizer, four fertilizer. Then with the cash and the insecticide. Perfect. Very good. It will help them. The government and Nada has done a due diligence. The people you are seeing here, they are real farmers. They are not ministry farmers. They are not paper farmers. They were picked from different groups. Cassava growers, Ogadeb farmers, women in Greek. The people that are that we are sure that they are farmers. I can tell you from people that are here, I've seen about three or four from close to where my farm is. Some of the beneficiaries have this to say. This is one of its kind. Uh, we have not uh, witnessed uh, something like this before. And uh, actually, I, on behalf of other women, uh, Kazakh farmers, uh, I say thank you to our uh, able gov uh, governor. We appreciate him so much. And we pray that uh, our you know, we are coming together with him, you know, we result in good success. We really want to thank uh, the state government and the governor especially for this uh, palliative, uh, palliative uh, initiative. We really appreciate it because we know it's going to go a long way with us and it's going to solve a lot of problems that we are facing about our economy and uh, this. And I know that God Almighty will continue to bless them, to continue to bless us too. And we are going to be a blessing too, to, to many people. It will bring a lot of initiative, a lot of progress for us, because the season we are right now, many of us, many of us have planted our maize, looking for money to even, you know, now we, is, uh, we miss uh, farming. It's miss farming we go for intercropping. When you plant your maize, you put cassava. But many of us have planted the maize, the maize is already grown. We're supposed to put cassava stem. Unfortunately for us, our governor provided for us, so it's like a plus, something we don't really expect. And it really boosts our profit, it will boost our state of living, you know, everything. It really, it really helps us in Ogun State. I want to say a big thank you to our governor. I want to appreciate it because we, with this now, we know he has us in mind. And to what we had here, that there is still a law that is still in the coven for farmers. So that means in Ogun State, we want to really appreciate our governor because he's our father, because he's taking care of us. And we want to assure him that we will not disappoint him. As the country continues to navigate through the prevailing economic situation, the Ogun State Government 
will continue to do its best towards enhancing the psychological, economic, and physical welfare of its citizenry and ensure that they are given a new lease of life. Igbega Ikminogun at Joshi Bogbowani. Yeah.